Good afternoon guys. So today I have a shave down dog. They came in. Um, they said that they, they have, you know, straight out said that they had just neglected to bring the dog in for regular grooming. Um, unfortunately, I do not have my head mount today. And I knew, you know, you guys would want to see this anyway. So I'm going to try to figure out something it won't be head mounted, but I'm still going to record the video because it is a good shave down. And so we're going to get started. Easy, easy. Okay, so first and foremost, you guys know that I do not like these. Come up here. Come up here. Come up here. Stay. Forty pounds. Okay. Uh, we're going to get them up on the table, and we're going to start shaving down, and then we'll get them in the bath. Alright, so here is what she looks like. You can see there are very large mats in here. All this is just a solid mat. Lots of matting on the tummy. Uh, the chest is really matted. Okay, the ears are pretty bad, pretty bad on needing a clean out. I'll go to the other side and just show you guys. Pretty matted back here. This dog has very, very wiry hair. It's very wiry. Okay, check this ear. Again. This ear is pretty bad too. There's mats in the ears. So we're just going to get started. Um, I'm going to have you guys set up on this tripod and we're going to make it work. All right. I apologize guys for not having a head mount. Um, I always keep all my stuff together in my backpack, um, but apparently I did not put that in there this morning. I don't even know why I had taken it out. So we're just gonna get started. Um, I'm gonna start with a seven blade and then we'll go from there. So the owner came in and said, <laughs> I just looked at the dog and I was just thinking, okay, this dog's gonna have to be shaved down. And then they said, yeah, we just want it short all over. And I was like, okay. So. The owner knew that they needed the dog to be shaved down. I forgot to take a before picture. Just a second, guys. I got to take a before picture. Okay. Got some before pictures taken. Now I can just... The longest part of these grooms is just getting all this coat off. I like to start a path all the way down the back if I can. That way I have an access point to get all this off. So why are the majority of my videos shave downs and undercoat removals? And that is because that is what I like to do. You know, everyone's channel is going to be different. If you don't like watching a bunch of shave downs, you don't like watching a bunch of undercoat removal videos. There are lots and lots of other groomers out there that you're more than welcome to go watch. You don't have to watch my channel, um, but this is what I choose to upload and post, mainly because it is a 
satisfying video for people. People like to see the transformation. I like to see the transformation in the dogs, uh, not only in removing the coat, but their personality before and after the groom. I, I mean, you can see it in pictures even when I take before and after pictures. The dog's head is down, their tail is tucked, and then after, when I take an after picture, you know, their, their tail is up and they're happy and, and they're just, their personality, their demeanor changes. They're not like depressed anymore. So, um, another reason as I, I upload that is, you know, YouTube for me is part of my business. It is how I make money. And I have to upload, you know, what I think and, or what I know is going to get the most views. Okay? You know, just like if something was not going right in my shop and I found that something was working better, then I'd probably stick with what was working better because, you know, my livelihood my life depends on my work um, and my, my work is not only grooming but YouTube also so I have found that the the shave downs and the undercoats get the most views and so that's why I post them the most just uh, taking a picture I like to take lots of pictures, not only for, you know, proof, but um, thumbnail pictures before, and before, during, and after pictures for Instagram and Facebook. I used to turn the camera off or cut that out when I take a picture, but um, I'm leaving it in because I want you all to see, you know, everything that I do. Everything that I have to do to keep, you know, keep going. I know some people are going to want to know, this is not a free groom. This is not a free groom. Um, I do a lot of free grooms because I can afford it. With, you know, with YouTube, I have, you know, in, in the revenue that comes in from YouTube, I have a little bit of freedom to do free grooms for those that may need it. I, I don't want to leave a dog suffering if, if, you know, I can afford to help them for free. And some of you may ask, well, how do you know they really can't afford it? And the short answer is, you don't. Um, you either have to trust that, you know, they need a free groom or move, move on. Tell them no, you know, I can't do it this time. I've had people reach out for me, you know, their dog, they want a free groom, and their dog is a short-haired chihuahua. Um, I'm not going to give a free groom for that, simply because, you know, the dog is not in dire need of a groom like, you know, like a dog like this is. So, I'm going to switch, switch blades. Um, we are using a seven blade. Okay. Um. Alright guys, just trying to come around so you guys can see it a little better. I know some of you like different points of view and hey, 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 hey. easy, just the edge of the table. This guy's pretty thin, um, but I would still call him healthy weight. I'm gonna have to raise this table up some. Oh, you hear that noise? That's the table. 
So the reason why I do the body first and then the head is um, just choice. That's it. Come this way though, so I can do some of this. How I run my business is going to be completely different than how another groomer runs their business. I am all inclusive uh, at this point in time. You know, that may change on down the line if I start getting a whole bunch of these dogs that, you know, take longer and, and are more work. But right now I am all inclusive and a lot of other groomers cannot offer that. I am 100%, um, yeah, this guy is a little thin, but um, not too thin. But the reason I can offer 100% all-inclusive is because I have YouTube. If I didn't have YouTube and I was just grooming, there's no way that I would be able to afford um, all-inclusive grooming. So I'm just going to take some scissors and cut some of this matting off. Guys, when you're cutting, please, 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 please make sure that you're not cutting skin or tail or something like that. Okay, so look at that. That is a solid mat. That is, it's like a rug. Like, look at that. It's crazy. Okay. Dogs should be brought in at least every eight to 10 weeks. At least. Can you stand up? Oh, up, up. You put your leg down. Trying to get that hair off the tail. Sorry if you guys can't see that. I can't see what you guys can see. But that's what I'm doing down here. Okay, yeah, you guys can see that. Okay. Up. Up. There's very, I'm going to go to a 10. There is some very, very heavy matting back here by the private areas. Whew. Definitely gonna have to do some angle wings on this dog. This is running stupid allergies. <laughs> okay, and go back to 
seven. Pretty matted in here, might have to go down to a 10. Yeah. You're okay, bud. You're a girl. Sorry. You're okay, girl. You're okay. Yeah, when your blade is struggling to go through and you're having to make a ton of shortcuts, it's time to go down to a shorter blade. should be started at eight weeks grooming regardless of breed all dogs should be started at eight weeks when they are a puppy the first three or four visits should be every month once a month I'm gonna go ahead and keep this um, tin blade on here I'm gonna turn her and then we'll get the other side done come over here come over here good girl Trying to see how old she is. It's kind of hard to tell. So I'm just going to keep this tin on here. Uh, we just want to get this off as quickly as possible and the hair will fluff up a little bit during the bath. The bigger the number on the blade, the shorter the length. So a 7 is longer than a 10, a 10 is longer than a 15. Most shave downs I do are a 7 or a 10. Some shave downs I have to go shorter than that, but I don't recommend going any shorter than a 10 on a full body cut unless they're super matted. Okay, I'm gonna stop and take a picture real quick. lifting the skin up is to make the skin tight. Um, if you don't make it tight, there's a possibility of cutting the skin. This dog is very thin. And I know I've said that. And the reason I tell you guys, um, you know, what shape they're in weight wise is because a lot of owners don't realize when their dog is underweight or overweight and so that's why I mentioned that and when a dog has this much fur you really can't tell what condition they're in so I'm gonna get my scissors and we're gonna cut some of this off. Okay, there's another 
ginormous piece of fur. Okay? Ginormous piece of fur. Tell me something you guys like to do in your free time. What do you guys like to do when you have spare time? You tell me down in the comments. Okay, you got another, another leg free. All right, so now we're going to get started on the head. Sit. Sit. There we go. I'm going to change 10 blades. And we're just going to get started on this head. We are doing a complete shave down. sure you guys can see this. No, no, no. are heavily matted. Easy girl. Easy. I mean, can you imagine having this much hair on your entire body matted, you haven't been bathed in probably six months to a year. Can you, can you imagine that? Like, I, I can't even imagine that. It would be miserable. It would suck. And keep moving. Hey, girl. You gotta pick a spot.
No, no, no. Keep your head over here. You're gonna get this done. Okay, can you stand up? Come here. Come here. Alright, now switch blades real quick. That one's getting warm. Oh, you can almost see again. Hey, easy. Easy, easy. <gasps> hi! Uh, hi! Now you can see. Can you feel so much better now? Can you stand up? Come on. Up. Alright, so. Right, guys you guys gotta bear with me a little bit okay just trying to get this to where stay you can't go off the table no so my goal is just to get this head shaved get it clean There. All right. The head is clean for the most part. Now I can get her back on the loop. Her ears are really bad. Um, not quite as bad as the worst dogs I or the worst ears I've seen in ten years, but they're. There's a heck of a lot of hair in there. It's not going to be fun to pull out, and she's not going to like it. But it's got to be done. Oh, does that feel good? Does that feel good? Mm. Easy. Easy. Let me see. You look like a completely different dog. So much hair. Easy. I'm not pulling on the leg, I'm just holding it. She's the one that's pulling it back and forth. Um, you know, when, when they're not groomed regularly, they're not used to the motions of being groomed. Almost got this leg free. I'll get this off this foot. Easy. 
Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. We're almost done with this. I know, we're almost done with this. Okay. Again, lots of coat, again. Okay, I'm gonna switch blades again real quick. Same blade as the 10. Us groomers, we learn from different people. We learn different techniques. Uh, we learn to cut dogs different ways. So one person might take a Schnauzer or a Cocker Spaniel to one place, and it'll be, you know, it might be completely different from another place they take them. And it's just because um, a lot of a lot of us learn how to groom differently and that's because we go to different schools we learn from different people hey you're okay easy easy you're okay hey, hey, hey. you're okay and so that is why you will see a lot of variation in grooming techniques Hey girl, hey, you're okay. It's okay. We're almost done. Let me get you in the bathtub. Sit. Can you sit? That'll help you a little bit. So if the dog has any tendency to be aggressive, is growling, you do not want to have your face, you know, right where I have mine with her. I have sensed her body language. I don't feel she's a danger. Um, I don't feel I'm going to get bit in the face or she's going to bite me. Um, so that's why I'm allowing my face to be so close to hers. Hey, easy. She just doesn't like this. I don't feel she would bite. We're almost done. It's really tight matting up here. That's why she's doing that. Here. Okay. Um, I'm going to throw this hair away. And then I'm going to try to do the sanitary. Stand up. Up. The ears will be in a different video just because they are pretty bad. So I will be doing them in a different video, but um, I'm gonna do the ears and then we'll get her in the bathtub. All right, guys, we're gonna get her bathed. Um, I already did her ears, I flushed them. They were really bad. If you guys wanna see that video, um, if it's not already out, it will be coming out soon. Come here. Okay. So I have a Save Your Fur bathing system. The link is down below at the very bottom. It's also where the nozzle is from. Not sponsored yet. We're gonna start with the feet once this warms up. Her feet are really dirty. And then we'll get started on the rest of the body. Um, but you can see how thin this dog is. You'll be able to even see it better when she's wet. I'm going to get these feet soaking. Okay. 
and get her all wet. She's shaking her head because of her ears. They were really dirty and it's just a, it's a weird feeling when they get clean like that. Okay, so now that she's all wet, we're just gonna come in and scrub. So I compare this bathing system, you know, just like you would compare an ultrasonic electric toothbrush versus a manual brush, okay? And so hand bathing would be the manual brush, and this is the, you know, the ultrasonic toothbrush. Um, the ultrasonic toothbrush does most of the work for you. You just have to move your hand around. So it's basically the same concept with a bathing system. You don't have to work as hard to get the dog as clean or cleaner than hand bathing. You know, just like a, an electric toothbrush, you don't have to work as hard to get your teeth as clean or cleaner than a manual toothbrush. So, for anyone that has not used a bathing system, um, that's my analogy for that. I knew her anal glands were going to be really bad when she came in. Uh, when I started shaving her down, she smelled really bad. Okay, so we got everything bathed. Got her face all bathed up. Okay, now we're gonna rinse. And then we'll get her in the cage dryer. Use my hand as a squeegee and just kind of squeegee all that water off. Get a towel. Dry my hands and arms off first, and then we'll start with her face and then work down the body. get her in a cage dryer. I am not gonna um I am gonna put her in a top cage dryer because she is small enough to fit and she'll dry faster. Alright guys we're gonna get this girl finished. Um I'm gonna show you this I, I have a wish list for rovers anything that I might need <sighs> some um people have asked me to put to create one so um I had someone send me this from the wish list. It's a wall Arco and it's a, it's a five in one blade. So this is nine, 10, 15, 30, 40. So I'm going to put it on the 30 and we're going to do the top hats and it's so quiet. I love it. I have never had a five in one before, but boy, am I loving it. Um, you definitely don't want to use this for like body grooming, um, unless the dog is very small and not matted. It just doesn't have enough power for that, but it's great for, you know, doing paw pads and, and that type of thing. You're okay, girl. You can see her twitching, her, her moving every time I touch her. I have a lot of dogs that are like that. Easy girl. Easy girl. I just found out that this dog belongs to someone that was a few grades ahead of me in school. Um, I thought they looked familiar and it's, it was, it was them. They don't probably don't know who I am because, um, I was a few grades behind them, but I know who they are. We won't say any names though, since this dog was in pretty rough shape. 
them. I'm not that that mean. I wouldn't do that to someone. Um, this battery definitely doesn't last a long time either. But thankfully, I don't know if it was the same person that sent these. I received three batteries and they're easy to switch out. Alright, so now we're going to plug in the... I'm going to do the nails. I'm not going to do the Dremel because I don't know, you know, how this dog would tolerate it. She's pretty touchy. So I'm just going to use nail clippers. These dogs' quicks are pretty, pretty long. What you're being so good. Huh. Good girl. He's a good girl. That is done. We just have our tin blade on here and we're just going to go over the body and make it look smooth. Feels like the majority of the dogs that I do are male. I don't know why that is. Dog. It looks a thousand times better than it did. Like, you would never know that this was the same dog. I've had people come in where their dog's transformation is this big, and they, like, come in and, and, and <laughs> they they don't realize that the dog sitting in the cage is actually their dog and they're like all right we're here and you know because most of the time someone will come in and they'll start talking to their dog in the cage or something like that and a lot of these big transformations if there's multiple dogs here that might be their dog like they don't even realize that the dog in the cage is their dog and i go to get it and they're like that's my dog and i'm like yeah that's your dog crazy especially if it's a puppy and they just let them go and go and go and not be groomed on a regular basis 
and they don't even know what the dog looks like underneath all that hair when they're full grown. Yeah, it's, it's a big transformation. But you can see how much hair I'm getting off. This is why we do a, a before groom on a matted dog and then an after groom because if you just send the dog home, it doesn't look finished. We've got to get all this extra hair off. So when clients, um, you know, come to pick up or when I finish the dog, uh, they have one hour to come pick up their dog um, or I just don't groom them again. I don't have the, you know, the necessary things for, you know, boarding to hold a dog longer than that. I don't have a nice grassy area for them to go to the bathroom outside. You know, it's a two foot strip next to a fence. And, you know, I don't, I just don't have what I need, you know, facility wise to have dogs stay here for hours and hours on end. So after I finish the dog, they have an hour to come pick up the dog or I won't schedule them again. And it's just not for the dog, you know, for them to be in a different environment and it's just so much different than they're used to. Um, so yeah. And if it's excessive, like they don't come get their dog for three, four, five hours, I do charge them. Don't you see, girl? What do you see out there? What do you see out there, huh? Switch blades. In a minute, I'm going to go ahead and text the owner and just let them know that she's ready. Um, I like to text them before the dog's actually ready. Uh, just less time that the dog actually has to spend here. So I usually will send it about 10, 15 minutes before I'm done. seeing that a lot lately and I don't know what causes it is these these just pads and and the pads just peeling just just peeling off and it's red and 
just irritated underneath. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna take this off real quick. And I'm just gonna get it on the neck. Ew, so much air just sucked into the mouth. Girl, you can't be doing that. You're so hyper reactive. Hey, stop. You're okay. Girl. You gotta put your head up. We're not gonna lay down. text the owner real quick. I already have the message typed out. I just need to send it. And then we'll finish. Okay, sent. So now I'm going to trim around the ears. Now I'm going to look at these feet. Pretty touchy on the feet. Okay. My 
allergies are so bad and I don't even know what I'm allergic to, but oh, they're so bad right now. It's been so windy the last couple days. It's just blowing everywhere. Just so bad. Okay, so I'm gonna get her belly real quick. Uh, clean the ears. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm so sorry. My battery died and I just realized that you guys couldn't see that head. Alright, so I got some cotton rounds and some Q-tips. I'm going to spray these cotton rounds first and then put them on my work desk. And then I'm going to take some Q-tips and just push them down into the cotton pads to absorb some of that ear cleaner. Okay. We're just gonna take two at a time and I'm just gonna get in there and get all this out that I can. Hey. It's dirty. I'm going to take one of these cotton pads and we're just going to rub it all around in there. Get the majority of that out. The pad is actually working better than the Q-tip, so I'm just going to do that on this ear too. Just going to rub it all around in there. I'm going to fold it in half and I'm just going to do it again. I'm going to get this screw tip and I'm going to get the little bitty groove indention areas. Hey, 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 easy. Okay. I'm going to get a bandana. Let's see. Let's pick. Hmm. Pick this one floral one okay so this dog what did we say she weighed 40 pounds or so um this is a medium sized bandana and i just i just roll it up a couple times and then we just tie it around this dog could actually probably fit a small one but it wouldn't look right okay and she's done Here's what she looks like. Looks like a completely different dog. Huh, are you ready to go? You look so much better. You look so much better. All right, guys, are you ready to go home? You want a treat? Oh, you know what that, you want a treat? You know what that word means, huh? Oh, down, sit. No. Ew. You don't like those treats? You want a treat? That's all I got. Sit. All right, so as thin as this dog is, um, she's borderline between um, underweight 
and healthy. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, don't forget to check out the links down below. We do have a personal wish list and a wish list for the Oklahoma Humanitarian Relief Team. Uh, also have started a wish list for rovers. So, um, and then the co-founder of the OHRT, Oklahoma Humanitarian Relief Team, also has a wish list. Her name is Lydia. So if you guys want to check those out, everything I use and recommend is down below in the Amazon storefront. And my bathing system is also down below. But the web address for that is saveyourfur.com, S-A-V-U-R-F-U-R.com. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.